Eight ways to turbocharge healthcare. Troubled by ill health, apprehension, and a turbulent social and economic climate, patients seeking healthcare face a formidable NHS journey. With demand outstripping supply, their itinerary crisscrosses avenues gripped by gridlock. Each attempt by the NHS to construct expressways and bypasses results in temporary easing, and as the population ages and expectations rise, the number of journeys soon saturates the highways and byways, and the cycle replays. What do patients want? For patients, their healthcare journey carries an undercurrent of apprehension, fear and insecurity. From start to finish, the journey is gridlocked by delay and uncertainty. At its epicentre, healthcare should address the psychological and physiological imperative to rapidly seek safety and certainty. The response. A modern health service must place the patient experience at its heart. The Patient Pathway Coordinator, or PPC. For most patients, the journey starts at the front desk, where practice secretaries operate the ticketing and turnstile that regulates access to a finite supply of clinical staff. The Digital Response. Most theatre, cinema, train and airline bookings are currently conducted online, avoiding queuing or telephone waits and offering choice of date, time, seating and level of comfort. Electronic booking systems empowers anxious patients to achieve instant access to the practice diary, offering dates, times and choice of face-to-face, -face, telephone, video or email consultation. Relieved of the responsibility of regulating access, the secretarial role should change to that of patient pathway coordinator. Imagine the impact of a patient who, on booking an appointment, receives a call from the PPC with the greeting, I'm Jane and I'm your pathway coordinator. My role is to help navigate you quickly and safely through our service. My email address is jane at helpdesk.org and let's keep in contact. Easy Care Mind Maps Currently, clinical encounters are recorded as linear text and prose, often difficult for patients to understand and lacking easy and instant cross-reference between different providers. The Digital Response Medical decision-making is non-linear and best reflected by mind maps. A mind map is a visual representation of ideas and tasks linked to and arranged around a central subject using a non-linear graphical layout. The hierarchical branching structure asks and responds to the question, what if? Transforming the linear representation of the clinical discourse into organized diagrams, reflecting the branching nature of diagnostic pathways. Using off-the-shelf mind mapping templates, mind mapping supports deep and wide clinical content contained within a single coherent framework. A range of problems and specialist encounters can nestle within a single map and by zooming in or out can be viewed at different levels. Mind maps are readily shared and authorised recipients can be allocated authoring or read-only right. The mind map is dynamic, allowing the addition of branches born of each clinical encounter. Test results, videos and photographs are easily attached to investigation nodes and a click on the paperclip exposes the attached result. Developed during the consultation, maps are instantly updated and readily accessed online or in printed format by the patient, authorised clinicians and carers. Mind Maps and the PPC PPCs need to track patient progress. The response on first contact with the primary care practice, the PPC could initiate a mind map template adding demographic data, the nature of the presenting complaint or complaints, past history of ill health and surgical interventions, smoking and alcohol history, current medication, height, weight and allergies. Instant access to their map would provide patients with a tangible token of care, reassurance that the journey has commenced and a view of direction of travel. 
During a PPC and patient's encounter, the shared map, the clinical pathway overview, can address questions and seek answers. The map prepared by the PPC would also assist the clinical team to consider the most appropriate management decision, whether a preemptive investigation, a face to face, virtual, or hospital based consultation. The Primary Care Web Currently, the organization and delivery of healthcare is defined by geographical access to bricks and mortar GP practices and hospitals. The digital response. The World Wide Web has breached the constraints of physical access to the office, allowing regional, national and global collaborations and transactions. Amwell Health, Babylon Health, Amazon Care and Taito Care signal the transformation of healthcare from bricks and mortar to healthcare without walls. Smartphones, tablets and the World Wide Web can extend professional reach well beyond traditional bricks and mortar health sector boundaries. Telemedicine can facilitate crowdsourcing GPs and specialists who can then be accessed by availability rather than geography. Without border constraint, primary care clinicians, consortia and associated healthcare providers could aggregate in a boundary-free primary care web. Digital crowdsourcing GPs across traditional boundaries could increase availability, restoring to the workforce those taking time out for parenting and other reasons. An Uber-like smartphone app could indicate GP availability, curriculum vitae, appraisal history and special interest. The app could indicate green for available, amber for soon, and red for unavailable, and a Tinder-like software platform could match patient preference with available healthcare providers. The Specialist Web Patients requiring specialist opinion are referred to secondary care and managed in single-system silos. Those with multi-system disorders require numerous consultations and investigations with little healthcare integration. The digital response. The major secondary care specialist departments operate numerous specialist outpatient clinics. Those adequately staffed could roster a specialist or two to be available each day of the working week to join a countrywide Uber-like consultant web. A primary care clinician consulting with a patient online or face-to-face -face or dealing with an e-consultation might seek specialist advice. By logging onto the specialist Uber app that crowdsourced the countrywide specialist web, an appropriate consultant could be sourced. Armed with the patient's mind map and the problem requiring specialist opinion, the matched consultant could provide a rapid, seamless continuity consultation. Real-time networking Allowing triangulation of patients, GPs and specialists would add considerable workplace learning opportunities. The shared mind map could document the recommended pathway, facilitating coherent and linked up care plans, providing a readily audited healthcare record. Taito Care for All Teleconsultation foregoes the tradition of physical examination. The digital response. TitoCare is a full stack platform that allows clinicians to undertake a remote physical examination. The Tito Home device is an all in one home gadget that combines a camera, thermometer, electronic stethoscope, otoscope, dermoscope, and pharyngoscope. During a telemedicine conference, the clinician instructs the patient to position the stethoscope over the heart and lungs to transmit heart and lung sounds. The otoscope images the eardrum, the pharyngoscope with tongue depressor, the mouth and throat, and dermoscope illustrates and photographs skin lesions and rashes. The thermometer transmits body temperature and additional applications can monitor pulse rate, blood pressure, ECG and blood oxygen saturation. The Taito Visit dashboard completes the platform, bringing the remote consultation and examination to a digital dashboard, offering both patients and clinicians a rounded telemedicine experience. Taito Home in every household, dovetailed with bricks-and-mortar clinics or Uber-like primary and secondary care web sourcing, 
would allow specialist cardiologists and respiratory physicians to remotely examine patients. Teach ultrasound to medical students. Ultrasound provides high-resolution imaging of the heart and blood vessels, pleura, abdominal and reproductive organs, but requires referral to an imaging centre. The response. Inexpensive portable ultrasound probes that dock with iOS and Android smartphones and tablets are available, bringing multi-organ ultrasound to the patient. Current medical school teaching includes mastering the skills of clinical examination through inspection, palpation, percussion and auscultation. While laying of hands is a tradition deeply ingrained in many cultures, ultrasound examination of the organs should replace the analog diagnostic skills. Teaching ultrasound to medical and nursing undergraduates would rapidly generate a cohort of skilled ultrasonographers, carrying an ultrasound probe rather than stethoscope draped around the neck. Within a few years, there would be little requirement for routine hospital-based diagnostic ultrasound and traditional low-resolution bedside examination would be replaced by point-of-care high-resolution organ imaging. Teach capsule endoscopy to medical students. The solid organs, but not the air-filled digestive tract, are readily examined by ultrasound. Hospital-based fiber-optic video endoscopy is required to examine the esophagus, stomach, duodenum and colon, and around 1% of the UK population is referred annually for upper and or lower gastrointestinal endoscopy. Training to deliver safe endoscopy requires intensive long-term skills acquisition. Most endoscopy is either normal or reveals benign disease, with a minority requiring intervention. The Digital Response Capsule endoscopy is a safe and minimally invasive device capable of inspecting the mucosal surface of the digestive tract from mouth to rectum. The device can be delivered in any appropriate setting, including home. C. The capsule is swallowed with a sip of water and little technical skill is required to deliver the device. Capsule video reading skills are readily learnt online within a short timescale. Teaching capsule image recognition skills to medical undergraduates would rapidly generate a generation of skilled capsule endoscopists capable of providing point-of-contact investigation of the digestive tract. Within a few years, there would be little requirement for routine hospital-based diagnostic endoscopy, and only patients requiring endoscopic intervention would be referred for specialist management. Conclusion Over the past 20 years, Technological innovation has rapidly transformed manufacturing and many of the service and retailing industries. The 20th century model of analog healthcare fails to address patients' primal quest for rapid access to professional care, investigation, diagnosis, and treatment. The Eight Ways to Turbocharge Healthcare represents a backdrop for innovators and early adopters to build a new healthcare system unrestrained by geography and walled institutions, and at its centre, designed to address patient needs and expectations.